Hey, what's going on guys? It's Rob. Before I start today, I think I should really get rid of this, so just give me one second. Much better. Well, I guess this stuff can go too, so... <sighs> Alright, not too bad, not too bad. Now, just for the mustache. Um... Oh, come on, really? How am I supposed to get rid of this now? <laughs> Alright, much better. Hey, what's going on, guys? So, I guess that that's over with. I can get to the video. I know I've been gone for a while, and I'm sure a lot of you have, you know, some questions of what's going on. I'm probably going to put out another update video after this one, but I know you guys want to learn something, so... Thanks for watching, and welcome back to Rob's World. So today I'm going to teach you how to make the spiky balloon. The spiky balloon is really cool, and it's just like the regular balloon, except once you blow it up, you'll push on some pre-made creases to get something like this. The really cool thing about the spiky balloon is that it's heavier on one side, so if you put that side facing up and let go of it, it wants to tend to roll over. So you can basically show people and they'll be amazed that it's actually moving and they may, might not be able to figure out why. Let's get started then. You can start out with an 8 and a half, 11 sheet like I am, or you can use origami paper. It doesn't really matter. Even so, we need to make the 8 and a half, 11 sheet into a square by taking the corner, folding it across, lining it up, making good creases while we do so. And then I like to flip it over, take this excess piece, and fold it down until I see that edge. And then, I can crease it really well, and rip that extra piece off. Alright, so now that I have a square piece of paper, you'll see I have a diagonal fold going that way. And I'm going to make it so that I have a diagonal fold going this way as well. To do that, we take the upper left corner now and fold it down to the bottom right corner. Line it up as neatly as possible and then make a crease on the edge of the paper. Again, run your fingernail gently against the crease to make sure that it's extra sharp. Now if you open up the paper, you'll see that we have an X in the paper. What you're going to do is to flip the paper over. We're going to take the top now and fold it down all the way to the bottom. Once it's lined up, again, make a good crease and run your fingernail against the edge. Open it up. Now we're going to fold the top edge down to the middle line here, and we're also going to fold the bottom edge into the middle line. So let's go ahead and do that. and run your fingernail again to each of those creases. Okay, so now if you open it, you'll see it's divided into fourths. We're going to turn the paper sideways like this, 90 degrees, and we're going to do the exact same thing. So top edge first goes down to the bottom edge. Open it up. Top and bottom edges go right into the middle. So now if you open up the paper, you should notice that it's divided into 16 squares and the paper also has two diagonal folds going across it. We're going to flip the paper back over and these two diagonal folds that we made before, we're just going to fold on them again and just give them an extra little crease like that. Now, if you hold the paper like this, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be folding this corner of the paper inwards at these various lines or points. To demonstrate this, I'm going to draw on the paper points that correspond with the intersections in the paper. I'm going to call this A, B, C, and D. The first step is we're going to take the corner here and we're going to fold it to this first point. If I hold it up like this, you can see this just corresponds to one of the squares, okay? 
So the bottom corner here is going to be folded up to point B, the top of this little square. Make a crease on the bottom here and run your fingernail. Then you're going to unfold this corner and you're going to fold A up to C now, which is the middle of the paper. Crease on the bottom. Run your fingernail against there as well. Now we're going to unfold the paper and point A is going to be folded up to point D. Once again, take the corner of the paper, fold it up until it hits point D, which again is the corner of that little square. Okay, so line it up with D and crease on the bottom. All right, so now that we've done that, you'll see we have these extra lines in the paper. Now, I'm not going to go through with you how to do that for the remaining three, but I'm confident that by the last demonstration, you understand what to do. We're gonna turn the paper and just do the same thing with this corner, folding it to these three spots. Then do the same, and you get the point. I know, it's a little bit tedious to do it, but in the end, it will help because you're gonna need these pre-creases in order to make the spiky ball. And once you're done, you should have a paper like this that has 16 squares, and each square has an X in it. At this point, we're going to take each of the four corners and we're going to fold that exterior triangle in just like that. So just on that first little square fold uh, on that crease that we made. Do that for all four corners. Okay. Now we're going to take the top of the model and fold it down to the bottom of the model on this horizontal crease. Take the top and fold it in half. Now as you'll see, I've drawn some lines. Oh, make sure this goes underneath like that. I've drawn some lines on these creases here. These are the creases that we're going to need to fold in order to make the water bomb base. If you haven't made the water bomb, I would recommend you try that first because it will make things a lot easier. You're going to open these two side flaps, these two edges, and you're going to tuck this corner in towards the middle on those two creases. So I'm going to push it in and then squeeze these two edges together. Do the same thing with the other side. Take it, open these two edges, and then push right there and squeeze. And there you go. At this point, if you fold it correctly, you should have something that looks like this. And each of those corners that you fold it in should be at this point in between these folds in the paper. Now you'll notice you have two top flaps and two bottom flaps. We're going to start with the top right flap here. This little point right here that I'm pointing to is going to be folded over here to a certain point right here. Now I'm going to draw another line so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about. This point on that diamond is going to meet that point. So what you need to do is you need to take this and you're going to fold it so that that point lines up with that point that I drew in the paper and you're going to make a crease. So as you'll see, it actually folds directly down these diamonds here. Once you have the paper like that, you're going to take this point and you'll see this little triangle that's sticking up. You're just going to fold this little triangle back to the right, like that. Now you can hold everything down. And if you look at the model, you'll notice that there's a small little pocket right here in the paper. You wanna open that pocket and you see this little 
triangle here, this little piece of paper, you need to fold this paper into that pocket. To do that, set it down, fold this little triangle up, make a crease, unfold it, and then what you can do is open up this little pocket and you can fold that little piece of paper inside. That is how you interlock one of the corners of the paper. Now we have to do the same with the remaining three. So to start with the other one, the first corner got sent to here, this corner goes to here. Meaning it's gonna be folding along this line right here, okay? So take the top flap only, fold it across to this point, and make a crease. Okay. Now I'm going to take this little triangular portion and just fold it back to the left like that. And once again, take this little triangular piece, this little flap, and I'm gonna fold it up, make a little crease, open up this pocket here, and you can tuck that corner of the paper right into that little pocket. Okay, so now that we've done two, all we need to do is to flip it over to do the other two, and then we're done. Once we flip the model over, it's basically the same exact thing. So I'm going to take this point, bring it right to here, you'll also notice that when you fold it over, this crease will line up with the crease behind it here on the back flap. So they should line up. So that one goes there. Take the tip, fold it back until the tip is basically on that edge. And then give it another good crease. Once again, you could fold this little corner upwards. Open up the pocket and slide that in. Once again, take the last one, fold it over to the same point, give it a crease, fold the point backwards, and then crease that, fold the triangle up, open the pocket, right in there, and then you can tuck that corner right into the pocket and give it a good squeeze. And there you go. That's the finished model. And as you'll see, it has a little opening here. What you want to do is to grab two opposite ends of the uh, spiky balloon, and you're going to pull it apart just gently so that you see a little opening here. You're then going to blow into the opening while pulling apart gently. Okay, so now you'll see it is inflated. And as you'll see, each part of the balloon has a diamond in it. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be pushing on the valley folds that you made within each of those diamonds. So you'll see it's, it's really not that hard. You're basically just pushing on each of these diamonds and trying to find that valley fold. You may get a little bit of crinkling, but hopefully we can fix that. There you go, not so bad. Okay, there we go. So it is a little bit tricky. I, d I, I won't deny it. Uh, I'd call this an intermediate model. And there you go. That is the spiky balloon. 
So I'd like to really thank you guys for watching the video and for staying um, subscribed to my channel. I hope it was helpful and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did like the tutorial, please click the like button down below. I'd really appreciate it. And leave me some feedback and let me know what you thought. I know it's been kind of tough uh, with me getting videos out so uh, so kind of rarely recently, but I'm really trying to change that. I'd like to get a video out every two weeks. That's my goal. I don't know... Um, you know if it's going to happen yet but that's what I'm really shooting for I'm not giving up on YouTube obviously um, I really love the um, just the interaction I get to have with you guys and being able to show you some things which you may not be aware of or you never seen before you know something cool to kinda entertain you while you have some free time don't forget as far as the uh, paper balloon the spi I'm sorry the spiky balloon is concerned you're going to hold the part that has the hole in it on top and it'll roll. Leela, did you see what I just made? It's called a spiky balloon and you could probably rub your head against it if you get itchy. So, okay Leela, so you want to thank everyone for for watching the video? Can you say thank you? Leela, say thank you. All right. I guess that does it.